Hey Bros Biddies, what is up? My name is Jared from Jared Gaming and today we're gonna be in the modern city, as you guys can tell, because here's the hotel, I kinda gave it away. <laughs> but um we're gonna be working out here for a little while because like I said last time we're gonna be working towards the beach. Now, here's the problem. The seed does not work anymore, and I know a lot of people use super flat, and I'm trying to think of ways that they can get the same thing as the regular people but uh, it'll be a little bit harder. Now, it does suck that they use super flat because I think in the first episode I said don't use super flat unless you put it 20 or 30 blocks higher than the bedrock level. Now, I know a lot of people didn't do that because I've had a lot of comments of people saying about the streets, like the sewer lines, like how it's my fault. Well, it's really not. It's actually their fault. Now, I'm not saying it's everyone's fault that has done super flat and did not raise it up. Um, it's just the people's fault that are complaining about it. Now, you don't need the sewer line and you don't need the subway. But there are going to be a lot of things in this series that you guys are going to miss out on if you guys put it on super flat. Like boats, um, harbors, uh a lot of the sewer line is gonna have really cool things in it like under like underground shops and you're gonna miss out on all that you're gonna miss out on the beach property like what we're about to start working on now here's an option you can do this by putting it into a PC world and changing everything copy pasting using world edit doing all that crap and putting it all back in here and wham then it's all fixed or start over and do this by starting to raise the well starting to over on super flat going down to bedrock how it's only three blocks before you hit bedrock raise it from bedrock level to 50 blocks high and then start to rebuild the whole uh, world now it's not my fault I did say it in the first episode I did um, I can't change it but and I didn't know. It's not my fault that 4J deleted the seed. It's, it's really not. I never knew that this would happen. I never knew that they would do that. Uh, so I, can't, I couldn't change it. I couldn't help it. It's not like I told them to do it. But that's enough of that. I just want to make sure that everyone knows that it, you know, about the situation that is going on. And now we're going to start on the tutorial for this episode. So what you guys are going to want to do is right here of the hotel so it's right here on the last piece see how this column right here you guys are gonna lot your road should be lined up with it if it is not or if it is too long your guys measurements are gonna be messed up so be sure that it lines up right here so right there with that column you're gonna place a gold block five blocks high including this gold block I have a sign on it that says 160 I typed it and I'm gonna say it just because I don't know if anybody has their uh, you know game on 1080p because everyone's internet is different so if it is too high like I mean if your guys internet is on 240 like P which is really bad you guys probably can't read it so it is 160 blocks from this gold column back so you guys are gonna count 160 blocks and just go until you reach here and then you're going to stop on the 160th block you are going to place another gold block like so I did mine in increments of 10 so I do one I would okay I'll show you really quick I did this I placed a block on the one like we're gonna say that is the one down there so that's the column block I went one two three four five six seven eight nine and I stopped on the tenth one on the tenth block I placed another gold block then I started over one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I did it again so on the tenth block I placed a gold block you guys should have 16 of these gold blocks that's how you guys have to come up with the number of 160 do not worry about this right here the beach do not worry about it don't try to recreate it I will teach you guys how to build it I already replaced mine with sand if you guys are on the regular map, like if you guys were lucky enough to get the seed before it was destroyed by 4J Studios, then you guys will have the same thing, and you guys will not have to worry at all. Now, this is just 
uh, me goofing around to see how I want the beach to be in the boardwalk and stuff, it is not going to look like this. Not at all. It is going to look way better. There will be no boats out here in this area right here. Um, so you guys don't have to worry about that. Super flat people. I, again, I don't know how you guys are going to do it, but you guys are going to have to figure out something. Uh, I gave you guys a couple of options in the beginning of the video. But okay, so if you guys start here, this is column one. I'm going to go to column two, column three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So on the tenth one, I stop. I have two signs. I have one on this side and one on this side. On this side of the sign, you guys can tell that that is emerald and that is lapis. The emerald tells from how, on this 10th block here, how far over you guys are going to have to clear. Now, I filled mine in solid. See, it's, mine's filled in solid. Uh, I do that because we're going to put in roads and sewer lines and we're going to put in, sept, um, what's it called, subways and a lot of other stuff. And it, it's going to really suck if you guys hit a cave. And it's going to cause um, zombies to moan, and it's going to be really annoying, and I find that very annoying. But we're going to get over that, um, so I'm just going to skip that part. But on this side over here, there should be 60 blocks. So from this gold block here over to this emerald block up against this wall is 60 blocks, guys. There should be six column, six blocks. So one, two, three four, five, six. So there's six emerald blocks placed, which means 60. I'm going to go on this side, and that is lapis blocks. So there is 140 blocks outwards. So from this gold block I am standing on, all the way down, to all the way on this end right here, it's not touching the wall, but it's only one off. So it's 141 or 140. Let's just say 141. Just that way it has it on mine, and the same as yours. Now, so that is 140 blocks, 141 blocks until right here. Now, again, I skipped 10, you know, 10, so there's 14 blocks of uh, lapis there. Again, I filled mine in solid. I just want to make sure that is clear. So if you guys would like to go ahead and start doing yours, flattening it and everything, that would be great. Uh, if you guys are on super flat and you guys realize that you guys would like to raise your world, um, well, it'll be a while before you get to this point again. So I'll see you at episode one. <laughs> I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. No, I'm not being mean. I'm just being, I'm just trying to make a, you know, a light situation of this video because <laughs> it does suck. I feel bad for the people that did that. But um, what I'm going to do now, after you guys already have this all flattened as you guys should, if you guys do not, again, pause the video and do that because you guys are going to need all this land because this is where the boardwalk's going to be, all the fun and all that is going to be. I'm going to start by digging out this right here. I'm going to leave all my markers on the ground for you guys so that way we can have them and I'm just going to have them for my measurement purposes too. You guys should probably have them as well. If you guys do not have the markers, then I would put them in because I'm not going to tell you how long these are. I'm just going to go ahead and do it because you guys' markers should be there and they should be in the right spot if you guys counted properly. So I'm just going to go take it down to the 10. So right here. So I'm going to not take it onto the 10, but I'm going to bring it up to the 10. And I didn't mean to take it out that far. There we go. That should be right there. So I'm just digging out this because what I'm doing is I'm putting in another road system just a little bit longer. I am not going to put in the sub... Um, well, actually, I'll explain that later after a minute. We'll do that in a minute. So I'm just going to put in the sidewalks first. It's getting dark. I'm going to do one more line and then I'm going to go to sleep. So I'm going to dig out this one right here on this side because this is where the stairs are going to be placed. So we're going to do that really quickly. So 
So again, my goal for this episode is to start getting down to where we can actually do the um, boardwalk. And this episode will probably be a little bit long. Actually, let me dig out this sidewalk. So I'm going to dig out four blocks wide like this, all the way down to the 10 marker. So it should actually be um, 99 blocks long. So if you guys are wondering, again, 99 blocks long from the road from the gold pillar to the marker of the 10 block because remember the 10 block you just add a zero which would be 100 but we're stopping on the block before which is 99 blocks i know that some people are going to be like oh man he's really annoying he's explaining so much stuff you know he's being uh giving so much detail he really doesn't have to but you guys got a thing there are a lot of little kids that watch this there are a lot of little kids and i mean like little little kids like five-year-olds and six-year-olds that actually build this I just want to make sure that they completely understand because there's no video especially for them to explain things and you know some adults are that way too some adults that have never played video games uh, besides the Atari have gotten on Minecraft because it brings back a little bit of my uh, maybe it might bring back memories of Legos you know and they're not very good at video games and you know they're trying to figure out how to build and you know they need guidance as well so it's not just little kids there are some adults out there that need help as well um, if you guys are one of them, I'm not, you know, making you guys feel bad. I'm just trying to let everyone do this because a lot of YouTubers don't do that. You know, they just like throw it together. They don't really care how it turns out for the other people. I really want you guys to get this properly and uh, have it how I have it because I love going to your guys' worlds and seeing that kind of stuff. Like, oh man, you did it exactly. Like, it feels like I'm in my world and that makes me feel really good because I feel like I did my job correctly. I feel like I got it correct and, you know, we did it as a team. We completely understood each other. What you guys are going to now need are regular quartz blocks or blocks of quartz. And then you guys are going to need... That chicken just like came out of nowhere. Did anybody else see that? Like, <laughs> I, I think he just literally spawned on my road. <laughs> but um, we're going to get quartz stairs and we're going to run the quartz stairs. Actually, let me get a potion of swiftness times uh, four. So it's potion two. And I'm just going to run this all the way down on this side. And then I'm going to turn around and run the stairs down on the other side as well. And then I'll start to lay down the blocks of quartz. Um, in the center, I'm going to dig that out. And then I'm going to dig it down. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. But I'm going to dig it down another layer. And I'll show you guys so, like the road. So um, we're going to dig out the center in between the stairs next. And then we're going to dig it down another layer. So that way we can put in the black top, which is the black wool. Um, you guys are going to also, before you guys put in the black wool, you guys are going to put in your guys' sewer line. So you guys know how to do the sewer line because you guys watched the video last time. I'm going to give you guys a minute to do that as well, and uh, we'll move on forward after that. So now I'm putting in the sidewalk. I really do like the quartz uh, sidewalk. A lot of people uh, uh, do like it. I think it makes the city look very clean. There will be more uh, like detail added to the sidewalk and to the roads later on in other episodes. So if you guys are still not liking my roads, uh, there will be a lot of cool things coming, like a lot of new ideas. So, you know, that's something to watch out for. You know, just keep watching and peeking in. Oh, yeah, I kind of like that. Maybe I'll go back and uh, build that, you know, that kind of thing. Like, there will be a lot more detail, especially on the beachfront property, like meters. Um, if you guys don't know what a meter is, because you guys don't have beaches, uh, a meter is like where you put quarters in to park your car. So it'll be like that kind of thing. And then there'll be meter maids, and if, when the meter runs out, they'll give you a ticket because you don't have any more quarters in your car. Yeah, I hate those people because I always go to the beach and go surfing, and it turns out like I never have enough quarters, so I usually always get one of them tickets. But yeah, we're working on beachfront property coming up, so you guys can imagine like a seven-star hotel. So something better than the hotel that I already built. But I won't build that for a little while. Maybe even beachfront apartments and beachfront condos and stuff. So we'll be doing a lot of beachfront for a while. I'm also going to be leaving the gold blocks so you guys can see how I'm going to leave them. I'm actually just going to run a line right here first. Just to get that out of the way. It'll be a lot easier. 
so yeah that's what we're going to be doing lately and um there will be houses so like not condos but houses just plain old modern houses uh also in the city so this city tutorial I, this is actually my favorite series to do uh, if you guys build the kingdom, I'm not too big on the kingdom anymore. It's just because I could build a lot better than that, and I can't because if I do, then it won't match. And it's very hard for me not to, like, try to improve it, and it really bugs me. And that's why I really don't like doing the kingdom anymore. And it should be ending soon, um, within the next year. So, that's, I know it's a shame, but it's just, it needs to stop. <laughs> at some point and I might start up another one but like it'll be totally different and it'll be a lot better I started up one before like uh, a s island one but it really didn't take off it only got about 10,000 views on the very first episode but it's actually a lot better than the kingdom so if you guys haven't seen it you guys should definitely build it the only problem is 4j destroyed that map seed too so the island seed is garbage now the only way to do it is actually uh, mapping it out how I put in the side with like the sea walls and going from there on super flat and then filling in the water around it on super flat like that's really the only thing you can do is flood your whole map and then build the island but you know it kind of it really does suck that 4j keeps deleting seeds because a lot of these seeds are really cool and I'm just like ranting on but it, it's whatever I, you guys got to hear some me talk at some point it's, it's boring if you don't talk maybe we can make a petition 4J, bring back old seeds. Stop upgrading our seeds without asking. That'd be even better. Like, that is what bothers me the most. Like, they, you just load up, get the new update, and your world changes. Just like, really? I didn't even want it to change. I really wanted the old biomes. I didn't ask for the new biomes kind of deal. I really wish they would ask. That'd be kind of cool. That, I think that's something that they should ask or add to the game when they give an update would you like to change update your biomes yes or no I think that's something they should do I think that's something that they do on PC I'm almost positive okay so what we need to do now is I'm gonna dig out the second layer and we're gonna dig this out and then we're gonna put in the black top and then we should be done I'm also gonna throw in a crosswalk I think I don't hold me on that I think I need to down by the hotel but I'm not too sure I don't remember and I'll be putting another one in near here depending on where another road will be coming off of I think I need to put a gas station near here what I need to do too. No, there's a crosswalk right there. So I don't need to put in another one. You know, you guys have given me more ideas than to build in here than Kingdom has in its entire life. Like, every time one of these episodes come out, like, everyone wants me to build something new that I've never heard of. Like, somebody wants me to build a skyscraper, but, uh, that won't be for a little while, because I already told you guys that I'm gonna start working on the beach area, and I don't wanna, like, keep jumping all around. Like, I won't start a skyscraper and then run over to the beach area, and then go back to the skyscraper. I'm not gonna do that, because it, it's just really confusing and boring, and it's gonna irritate a lot more people then to build a lot at once and and you'll never get anything done with your city so that that's another thing that would really suck but after the kingdom ends more modern city will come out at a time so it'll be like two episodes a week instead of the one episode a week right now but at least you guys get to see uh, at least one episode a week I know you guys would like probably like an episode every day <laughs> But uh, if I did that, that would burn me out, and I'd run out of ideas really quickly and uh, get really tired of building it. But right now, I'm having fun building it. It's really cool, because it's not the same style over and over and over again. It's completely different styles all the time. Okay, we're almost done, and there we go. I'm going to drink a Swiftness Potion in a minute. 
I'm gonna get my black wool and I'm gonna hurry up and lay down the black wool again you guys before I lay down before you guys lay down your black wool make sure you guys put in your guys sewer line which is right down here if you guys have not seen the sewer line episode it is in episode uh, the before this so just try to find the episode I don't even know what episode we're on anymore because there's so many I think we're on like episode 33 I think don't hold me to it I don't have no idea <laughs> Uh, as soon as I get done with the episode, then I know, but that's just, I don't know during at all. I'm going to make this, I'm going to start making the episodes longer, so that way we can get more done in the episodes, unless it's like a lot of tedious work, and uh, not as much as, you know, good work. Like, this episode is really tedious work because there's so much that you guys need to do behind the scenes before you guys can even do what I'm doing right now. So, again, if you guys haven't done uh, the sewer, go ahead and do that because I'm just laying this in right now. Or you guys can watch me lay this in and then at the end uh, just pause it and then go back and do it. Well, on the other note, um, remember how I said that there will be a lot of other things being added to the roads? Well, some other things that will be added to the roads, uh, I've already started designing over on the other side. I don't want you guys to see it because I don't want people to do it uh, just yet. Just, to, you know, on the safe side that I don't like it. And it just looks really bad. And then you guys don't have to keep taking it down. That was my phone. I don't know if you guys heard that. That was kind of far away, though. But my mic's really sensitive. You guys probably heard me burp, too. Excuse me. But I am almost done with this, and then we're going to have to go to sleep again because it is dark. So, again, see how I left in the gold, you know, markers? I didn't go past it because I don't know what I really want to do. It's not like I really want this to run out into the ocean because this is the edge of the world for me. So I'm actually on the edge of the world, see? This is the edge. I can't go far any farther over. I'm pushing, but it won't let me go. Um, and that is going to suck. Because I think what I'm going to do is a roundabout. If you guys don't know what a roundabout it is, like, at the end, it's like a circle. So it'll be like... This is a miniature scale, but it'll be something like this. So that way you guys can turn around and, uh, like, try to find another parking spot. Because that's how it is on mine like at my beach so I'm actually modeling this off of my beach and I'll put a picture in right now so I'll put a picture in the episode as you guys can see there's a picture you know coming up right now <laughs> or you guys already saw it I don't know how I did it but I, that's in the editing so I it's not like I inserted it right now but I do that in my editing software but I showed you guys a picture and that is the picture that is of my Rehoboth Beach. If you guys want to, so you guys could type in Rehoboth Beach on Google Images, and you guys will see a lot of it. And that's actually where I go. I'm actually going there a lot uh, during the summer, and it is summer right now. I go there to go surfing, which is actually against the law there because there's it's a it's a tourist attraction, and they don't want tourists to get hit by surfers. But I don't really care. Like the tourists are in my way, I'm gonna run them over. I'm just kidding. I'm not that mean. Yes, I am. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I need to go to sleep. <laughs> but, um... But, yeah, that's just an image of... Like, that's where I live. I don't actually live on the beach, but it's like an, uh, 40 minutes away. So it's really not that far. And I have a beach right down the road, but it doesn't get good waves. Because it's more of like an inlet. It's not an... Well... It's not near the ocean, uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, on Rehoboth, tankers go by, which make really big waves, and then the ocean waves, and uh, during tropical storms, the waves are like 10, 12 feet high, so it's really perfect for surfing and stuff. But besides that, I'm getting off point. Um, so this is what we have right here. Again, make sure you guys have this all done, you know, not just a little bit. You guys are going to want it all done because of down here. And what we can do is right here on the 160th block so on the gold block what you guys are going to want to do is just bring that all the way down 
And what I am going to do as well right now is I'm going to cut this all off. So see how I'm cutting this, my sand, and I'm replacing it with uh, grass blocks. I'm just going to do that all the way down. And I'm going to build my beach. So basically, I'm going to be terraforming. If you guys don't know what terraforming is, it is... I'll show you guys what in a second. Um, terraforming is a very hard thing to do. Now, what we're going to be doing is very easy because it's very easy terraforming. I'm going to make it very simple for you guys. But basically, terraforming is to make something look natural. And by that, I mean... Is... Dang it. Look, see, this is terror. This would be considered terraforming if I did it by hand. This is natural Minecraft, and that's the goal. You guys are going to try to make it look natural, but at the same time, it's man-made. So that over there in the distance, that would be terraforming if I said I did that myself. But that is all natural. So that is what terraforming is, if you guys did not know. And we're going to be doing that a lot to the beach. So again, on the 160th block, what you guys are going to do is just carve that all off. And I di I'm just uh, replacing it with grass to make it a straight line and then anything behind it I am replacing with grass to make it a straight line as well because we're gonna build our beach art by hand and I'm gonna tell you guys how to do that and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it and I'm gonna do it with you at the same time I'm not gonna do any of it in speed build mode so it should be very simple for you guys to do so I'm just gonna fill this in right here got a little bit of water okay so I'm just gonna dig out all this sand right here and I'm just gonna replace the sand with uh, grass blocks so I'm gonna dig out this here as well bring that all the way down to here because uh, I think that's the line. I'm not sure but when I back up I'll be able to see. I'm going to bring this down and start filling in the holes I just carved out from the sand. But we are going to be using sand at some point. It's just not right now. I just want to make sure that we have a straight grass line. I was often thinking about uh, having a curved beach but that would be very hard for a boardwalk and boardwalks aren't very curved they're actually straight uh, as much as possible plus Minecraft is a building block game I can't build a building on diagonally or you know I can but I mean the difficulty level for everyone else to follow would be incredibly hard and for you guys to learn how to do it which is the goal of me teaching you guys how to do it would be incredibly harder uh, but some people would get it, but most people would not. Building diagonally is an art that would take a very long time to teach. I can barely do it. I'm, I don't consider myself a great builder. There are people out there that are way better than I am. I'm just a good builder. Um, but nobody's a master builder. Nobody at all. I haven't seen a master builder at all in my entire uh, building style life, I guess you would say. Um, everyone's good at something, and not everyone's good at everything which would be a master builder if you guys were good at everything and that is the last bit of sand right here And what I am going to do is, as you guys can see, the 160th block is straight across from right here. So I'm going to mark this with a quartz block right here on this line. All the way down to the other end, I'm going to mark it as well with another quartz block. So we're just going to keep on marking it. Now right here, so you guys are going to want to follow this line. You guys aren't going to want to go where my glowstone is. So you see how my glowstone's there? You guys obviously don't have that. You guys don't need it. That was a marker for me when I was clearing it out on how far I needed to go. But see how it stays on the 160th block and it just goes up against that wall. Uh, what I am going to do right now is I'm just going to carve this off right here. If you guys have su you know, um, super flat, this will be I this is going to be obviously different for you guys. So I'm just going to carve this off right here. If you guys have the map seed for me then you guys would be doing this as well. I'm going to carve this down by one block, like so. 
So I'm everything on this line right here, I'm just gonna carve off so it's all even. If it is not, um, well, we'll go to that later. Whoa, I didn't mean to fly forward that fast. Chicken, get out of here. Um, I need sand because now we're at the point where you guys are gonna see. So I want this here, this needs to be filled in with sand so it's at the same level. So I need to get that to at least another block high. And I'm gonna do three lines of it at that level. Actually, we're gonna do five. So five lines out, it is gonna to have to be. So that's three, then this is the fourth line out. I'm gonna follow this down to here. And what I mean four blocks out, I'll show you guys in one second. So this is one, two, three, four, and then this is all gonna be filled into this level here, uh, just like this. If it is not four blocks, uh, well, five blocks technically out from the whole thing, then you guys are gonna have to fill it in to be at this level right here. And that's what I'm doing right now. That's amazing how I'm doing this. This is like basically impossible to happen. I guess I must be lagging just enough that the I could place a uh, sand block on a sand block when it's floating. Here we go. So that's one, two, three, four. Then this is five. And then the beach will rapidly start to go down. Um, the five blocks out at first is where we're going to be building the boardwalk, and that's why it is like that. So that is four, and then this will be five. So I want the boardwalk to be five blocks long. Now, the fifth block, see how it's five blocks out? That does not have to be all sand. I'm just doing sand right now because it's going to be covered in wood. So it doesn't have to be all sand, but it, I'll show you guys where it does need to be sand. It has to be at least sand on the fourth and the fifth block to the edge. Um, I need to remove this. You guys do not have this, so you guys don't need to be worrying about removing this. You guys can just continue to make your guys's four to five blocks out. This was made so long ago. This was made before the hotel was even finished of the idea of the beach. I just never said anything about it um, in any of the videos. But the beachfront property is going to be one of the coolest things in this. But right here. Now this is going to stretch the whole length of the beach. So I think I'm just going to leave you guys to this. So actually let me do this line first. Uh, I'm going to fill in the fifth block to the edge and let me just do that all the way down the whole beach so that way you guys can understand completely how long and how far it needs to go and then I'll leave you guys to that and then next Wednesday because every Wednesday an episode will be coming out during the summer and when I mean summer I mean summer in America so we're you know on the uh, upper equator of the world so sorry Australia this would be your winner good eye mate shrimp on the bobby I don't know I wish I went to Australia. I'm going to go to Australia one day. I'm going to fight a kangaroo. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So this is one, two, three, four. That's one, two, three, four. Then this would be five. And then I'm just going to bring this down and connect it. Don't worry about the ocean because, again, we're not putting anything out in the ocean. Uh, like, I'll show you guys in a second. Like, we're not going to build boats out there or anything because, like, all that out there is ocean, so it's kind of, like, comes in handy for, you know, if you guys are on a normal world, but if you guys are on super flat, then it's going to look a little bit weird for you guys. I don't know how it's going to work out for you. But if you guys built it in the middle of the map, like I'm saying, if you guys built the hotel in the middle of the map and you guys started that on 0, 0.0, 
uh, Y3 or Y50 or Y30, which is the depth of the world, then you guys should have your guys' like that and you guys should be fine. So uh, then you guys can actually build an ocean out there. But if you guys built it in the same spot on the same coordinates as mine, then you guys would have a awkward shaped map and you guys will not have the ocean out that way unless it is another world that you guys have flattened down and uh, basically done that way. That's a mouthful. That's a lot to talk about. So that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. I'm going to fill in this fifth line, and then I'll join you back next Wednesday, and we will be working on the beach again, the beach property and the road to the beach, and yeah, and uh, I don't know what else. I don't really know what to tell you. We'll see what we get and how far we get, and that'll be it. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys have built this, how long did it take you? Because I want to know how long it took you to flatten all that land. So I, I would imagine it would take you guys, if you guys have this real map seed that I have, I would imagine it would take you two hours to do this episode if you guys are right here and he's like, wow, he's like a wizard, he knows. <laughs> I, that's how long I figured it would probably take you guys, about two hours to complete this map. But again, this is a 36 minute episode, 37 minute episode, so this is actually a quite long episode that I normally don't do. But like I said, I'm going to start making longer episodes just because I want to get you guys more info in for the Modern City. Since there's only one episode a week, I figured we could do a little bit longer episodes to help you guys out with that and get you guys more stuff done. Thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you know, tell your friends about me, tell your family, tell your dog, tell your cat, tell your grandmom. I'm pretty sure she would love to play Minecraft. 